2014 Dodge Grand Caravan with 20 or 72,950 miles. It is all white. It looks like there may have been a decal here on the hood that needs to be cleaned or scraped. Again, like I said, or like I've said in the past, these vehicles have just come in, so they haven't been detailed yet. Um, no real blemishes on the front. May have had some type of wrap on it or something to that caliber. Moving down the side of the vehicle. This is a little bit separated here, but nothing extremely, extremely dense. Um, no little scratches, nothing so far. Looks like you have a plate that goes there. Move around the side of the vehicle here. As you can see on the roof of the car, it does have that same uh, staining color. It looks like it's going on. Move around the side. There is a little scratch, great blemish here. We always like to be super transparent, so you know that's why I'm pointing these out. Um, yeah, it definitely had what I think was a wrap on the vehicle at some point that they that they've removed. It looks like we have a little tearing here in the back of the seat, um, but it looks like that actually just clips together like that. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. So no big ordeal. Tinted uh, factory, tinted factory, all back seats. So far, um, it doesn't look like any of the windows have any cracks or breaks in it. Um, no blemishes here on the side panels all the way down. Tires again look like they have good tread. Look around, check out the back seat. Here we go again with the captain's chairs. They just fold right up. Across the upholstery is all nice, no rips and tears here. Uh, they've got these uh, hard armrests on each side, and I guess a nice stereo system because you probably can't even hear me talking. Let's move around here to the front. Open this door. You have the same accenting panel here on the door handles. Hop in again. AC's cold. Nice compartment. No USB port. Nice lower compartment again with the manufacturer. friendly again it doesn't look like there's any lights on the dash let's turn that radio off no lights on the dash your dual control AC your two cup holders a nice two more cup holder area some stuff that you can put look like these come right out so you can make room for yourself just slap those right back in you got your two 12 volt DC spots um, another armrest, no tears or rips in either of them. Um, nice upholstery. Nice leather stitching here on these doors. Um, the same thing as, as before, you've got your cruise control and then uh, your step meter and reset that would be uh, monitored on your dash. Um, you've got your center AC control here. Swing back around again with your your uh, monitor here that also clicks up and turns into the, the little holder. Um, upholstery looks pretty clean, nothing too messed up, and I think that's about about it. All the upholstery really is in good condition. Again, the vehicles have not been detailed by us, so um, keeping that in mind. Um, other than the blemishes from what looks like there had been a wrap. Um, I don't see any major issues with this vehicle. Um, I'll get with detail and see what um, kind of situation that, that inquires, um, if we're gonna be able to remove some of that those blemishes and I'll get back to you with that information. But uh, this is Kai at Gulf Auto Direct in Waveland, Mississippi. If you, need any if you have any questions or need any answers, you can give me a call here at the dealership. Thanks.